you know, t today was a game where it just came down to like a loose ball, a you know, a, a, a defensive stop. It, it was it was just so many opportunities where I felt like the game could have went either direction if we made a shot here, got a loose ball there, didn't turn the ball over there. And all credit to, to Matt and um, and UMass, they, they they did a good job. They do a really good job. They have, I mean, Trey Mitchell's the rookie of the year in our league, uh, probably a first team all league player. And they know how to utilize him. They have a good team. They, they play through him. They have shooters on the perimeter. They know that teams are going to attack them. They're, they're, they're very well schooled and prepared to play through him. And they did a good job of it tonight. And I don't, I don't think that our guys necessarily played bad. It was just uh, at times just, you know, just a play here or there, a, you know, a guy just playing with a little bit of lack of energy. Um, like obviously the, our energy wasn't the same as it was on Saturday. Um, so, you know, we just got to evaluate that and, and figure out how we're going to utilize these guys best, you know, moving forward. So he, you know, Shag was sick, so he didn't practice yesterday. And, you know, we had him, you know, we, you know, we were holding him out and it was a, it was a game time decision. So I just wanted to play him um, limited minutes tonight. And um, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to overdo it with him. So we, we started Dave and um, obviously Scott Spencer and, and Brandon Stone was, was also out. So. Um, that was that was the decision, and Dave stepped up. He was ready to go and played with great energy, great passion, and um, you know I'm just pr I'm proud of the way he played today. Thought he left it all out there. Were you worried at any point about you know you just said Brandon Stone was out too about the lack of size that you had available? I saw you ran a couple of five guard lineups out there. So yep. were you worried about that, and how did you think you know the team played due to the circumstances? I, honestly, we don't worry about it because there's been multiple times where we've been down bodies and. We throw Christian Ray out there at the five, and and we we want to play that way at times. You know, I think sometimes it gives us an advantage. It's a different look. We we speed teams up. We pressure the ball. We create turnovers, and then on offense, we just have you know um, interchangeable pieces that can all you know drive and and create for each other. So, um, you know, I didn't necessarily look at that as an advantage. I looked at it as an opportunity, just to see what that lineup looks like because I know that there's going to be times where you know, we're going to have to utilize that lineup again moving forward because we still only really have two big guys now with just Jared and Brandon Stone. Uh, going forward, what are the updates on Scott Spencer and, and Brandon Stone? Well, uh, I, I anticipate that Brandon will, will be fine within the next day or so. And, and um, with, with, with Scott, you know, he's working out. He's listed as day-to-day, -day, but, you know, I think he's, he's trending in the, in, in the right direction. What do you think, you know, every time – Youth, you know what I mean? Just youth, just having young guys out there um, and relying on them to make the right decisions. But this is why you get experience. Like, this is why you play freshman. So now those guys can get the experience, experience the failure, and, and utilize it as an opportunity to, to, to get better and, and, and learn and be prepared for the next opportunity. What did you think about um, your defense? I thought, it was, I thought it was good. But, um, you know, obviously, I, 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 thought, I thought UMass made some difficult shots. Um, I thought we, we executed our game plan. I think we, we did a lot of positive things. But, um, you know, U, UMass was hot tonight, man. They made, they made 10 threes. Um, and, and they made timely threes, more so than, than anything. It wasn't that it was 10. It was, it was the fact that they made some that really put us on our heels when I felt like we were making runs and that, that really took our momentum away from us. Well, I, I told him um, just to settle down because I could just, I just thought that, you know, he had a look in his in his eye like he was sort of kind of like, you know, just disengaged. So took him out, um, told him that we needed him to, to to settle down, 
and I thought at times he, you know, he, he brought energy. Um, but, you know, I, I don't think this was one of his better games, but, you know, he's a freshman and, and he'll respond, you know, the next time. All right. All right, Coach. All right man. Thank you.